We're waiting for Starship's first orbital flight, but have you ever wondered about where this will happen? Honestly, one year ago, this is a superfluous question. But now we definitely should think about this, as while Starbase has experienced more than a year of delays by the FAA, they've yet to receive their final flight permits. And Starship launch pad in Florida is being rushed to get completed. Where will Elon Musk's last card fall? Let's discuss this and more right now in today's episode of the Alpha Tech Channel. Located at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, or KSC Launch Complex 39A facility, SpaceX has intended to construct a Starship launch site there for several years. A serious attempt was made in late 2019, but SpaceX soon abandoned the effort and redirected its energy towards Starship prototyping and a much different launch pad design. Two years later, SpaceX's second attempt shares only a little in common with the first. Both are to be located within the eastern half of Pad 39A's shield-like footprint, although the specific location of the tower and launch mount has been modified. If this attempt comes to fruition, Starship's first East Coast launch facilities will still sit just a few hundred feet away from the only SpaceX pad capable of launching Crew Dragon, Cargo Dragon, or Falcon Heavy. This is absolutely possible soon because the SpaceX team in Florida is now moving at incredible speed. Most clearly, in less than three months from the beginning, SpaceX's orbital launch tower at Launch Complex 39A is now nearly full stack. As of now, the company has installed eight of nine segments for the Starship launch tower. The tower is already taller than the existing fixed service structure at Pad 39A left over from the Space Shuttle program, and it's currently used to support Falcon 9 crew launches. Furthermore, SpaceX's ninth and final tower segment for the Starship launch pad tower in Florida was moved to Launch Complex 39A last weekend for stacking. A crane at Pad 39A will stack the section, complete the buildup of the tower structure. The top section will hold the pulleys and mechanisms needed for the chopsticks, and that's the final section required before a cap segment will be placed on the top. The tower infrastructure is aimed to be finished as soon as this month. Off-site, SpaceX is also making excellent progress, assembling the orbital launch mount and parts of the three giant arms that would eventually attach to Starship's first Florida launch tower, two for lifting and catching rockets, and a third for stabilizing and fueling Starship. For the tower to be truly complete, SpaceX will need to finish and install three arms and connect one of those to ground supplies of Starship gases and propellant located at Pad 39A. Because 39A has never needed methane, Starship's fuel of choice, that step will also require the installation and activation of a new tank farm and plumbing capable of storing, rapidly subcooling, and distributing at least 1,000 tons or 2.2 million pounds of liquid methane, LCH4. So, Starbase Florida is making great progress, but a large amount of work still stands between SpaceX and launch readiness. Amongst other work down at the Cape, Construction's underway at the dizzying pace for Star Factory. The building now has substantial roof and wall sections. In short, with current progress, we believe that a Pad 39A Starship launch site could be brought online in just the next few months. So in the most suitable situation, the first test flight will take place from Boca, but as testing and operational flights continue, the Cape will be where it happens. Starbase will become more of an R&D facility as time goes by. More importantly, SpaceX has also gotten a serious hurdle from NASA for the Starship backup launch pad. The agency just sent a serious requirement to Elon Musk's SpaceX to ensure its plan to launch its next-generation Starship rocket from Florida would not put at risk nearby launch infrastructure critical to the International Space Station. This is because SpaceX's complex at Kennedy Space Center is the sole launch site of the Crew Dragon capsule which is the only spacecraft currently available to deliver astronauts to the ISS. This makes the launch pad a national asset and not one to be used for experimental flights. The idea of testing a massive booster on that same launch pad is giving NASA and Space Force officials some pause given the explosive results of the other early SpaceX test. Dale Ketchum, Vice President of Governmental Relations at Space Florida, said, They blew up a lot of starships in Texas, Ketchum says and blowing stuff up or unplanned rapid disassemblies. You can do them in Texas, but the neighbors get kind of fussy about that at the Cape. 
NASA officials in recent months have even told SpaceX that a Starship explosion at Launch Complex 39A could effectively cut off the space agency's sole means of launching U.S. astronauts to the ISS. We all recognize that if you had an early failure like we did on one of the early SpaceX flights, it would be pretty devastating to 39A, Kathy Luters, NASA Space Operations Chief, said in an interview of the agency's discussions with SpaceX. Pad 39A is also the only launch facility currently capable of launching SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket that's necessary to haul heavier NASA and U.S. military spacecraft into orbit. This is definitely a big problem for SpaceX. Part of SpaceX's challenge is to show that 39A will not be damaged by Starship's novel liquid oxygen and methane fuel, a combination of propellants that NASA and U.S. regulators are not familiar with. The problem is the explosive potential for that combination is not well known, says Randy Repchek, a deputy manager at the Federal Aviation Administration's Office of Commercial Space Transportation, which oversees launch pad safety. In fact, the company's been actually trying to minimize risk associated with this. SpaceX has already invested heavily in building a Starship pad some hundreds of feet from the 39A's launch tower. It has responded by pitching NASA on a plan to outfit its other Florida pad, Launch Complex 40, five miles away on Space Force property with the means to launch U.S. astronauts, according to a person familiar with the plan. Besides worries and flights, throughout 2021, politicians debated the benefit of the launch complex, lawyers dueled over regulations, and environmentalists raised concerns about how the giant rocket factory and growing launch site would impact wildlife. Well, after all, we realize that becoming the most powerful operational rocket in human history is not easy for a private company. Space might be hard, but bureaucracy, it's harder. This is why SpaceX is going to move slowly and carefully with this process. If they do have an explosion on the bad, it's going to be devastating to the surrounding area. And I'll tell you, any FAA approvals are going to get yanked. If something like that occurs, it's for this reason that Starship is unlikely to take off before 2023. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comment section. Everyone's support is motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.